Heartland series. It's a good two-legged dog story. Their service and sacrifice. Thanks for watching, and have a good night. And finally tonight, there are different kinds of synchronous fireflies in East Tennessee. That includes these guys, snappy sinks. As 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us, a Knox County family is opening its backyard for an up-close look at their snappy flashes. I would have never thought that I would have an interest in lightning bugs. Ken Bennett looks on the bright side, even in the darkest places. And 15 years ago, he found bright lightning bugs flashing in unison in the dark woods behind his house in Corrington. Of course, I wasn't expecting to see synchronized fireflies. And when I looked up the ridge and saw them, I, I just couldn't believe it. So the first thing I did, of course, was go back and get my wife and see if she was seeing what I see. Their eyes did not deceive them. The hillsides overflow with the species Photurus frontalis, a synchronized lightning bug better known as snappy sinks. A lot of people have never heard of snappies. They are synchronizing. They look like little lights twinkling in the dark. It's peaceful. I mean, it, it's just very relaxing to watch. Um, it's, it's mesmerizing, and uh, we've been enjoying them ever since. But this year's family tradition is missing a light of the Bennett's life. Devoted wife and mother, Jeanette Bennett, who fought a rare blood cancer for 17 years. MDS, or myelodysplastic syndrome. She was um, actually declared cancer-free last November. And then all of a sudden it came back, and with a vengeance. Jeanette Bennett died March 14th, 2018. The family hurts, but still glows when they talk about her good nature. My mom was an incredibly positive person just appreciative and thankful for the day she had. She was very good natured, always with a smile, a very positive person. And in the darkness of grief and sorrow, the Bennetts found a reminder of the many lights that define Jeanette's life. My mom loved watching the, the lightning bugs out here. I also felt a sort of an empty spot with my wife gone and wanted to fill that void with things we enjoyed. Just a few weeks ago, something lit a fire under Ken to do something this very private family would have never done before. Open their property, their home, so complete strangers can see the bioluminescence of these beaconing beetles. I felt like I was almost being selfish by not sharing it with other people. I think it's something others need to see. The family's helped him start a new adventure called Molly Branch Fireflies. And nothing in this business will mention the death of Jeanette Bennett. Ken Bennett wants patrons worry-free to embrace a natural wonder that's been a highlight of their lives. This is a positive thing. Those that are truly nature lovers will um, almost be in awe. And for the Bennetts, this explosion of life in their backyard will always quietly serve as an illuminating memorial, a bright side to share happiness, even in the darkest places just makes everything calm, something to enjoy. In Coryton, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Molly Branch Fireflies will open starting tomorrow, Saturday night. Tickets 5 to $15. And we have more information at WBIR.com, plus a breakdown of how snappy sinks are different from fireflies in Elkmont.